in a time now long forgotten, in Denmark there was something rotten. Halt! Who comes unto this door that leads to Castle Elsinore? Good Francisco, give no grief. Tis I, Bernardo, your relief. So far the night it has been quiet. It makes me glad I quit my diet. I did not mean to be so rude. Please join me and share this food. Who is there? Stop and tell us. Tis I, Horatio. And Marcellus. Here we stand to guard this doorway. From Fortinbras, the Prince of Norway. I really wish we had some toast. Look, Horatio, a ghost! Scary things may make you wince, but it's your job to tell the Prince. To my dear brother, I bid adieu. And with his queen I come to you. The king is dead, so shall it be. But now your king is lucky me. <laughs> Darkness had befell our land, but now good tidings are at hand. This good fortune can be seen. You've gained a king, and I a queen. To all of you I now declare, our nation shall reject despair. King Hamlet's death does cause great grief, Yet discretion makes it brief. Lest we be victims of our fate, I turn now to affairs of state. For Norway's heir to the throne claims our lands are but his own. Prince Fortinbras does make this claim to lands won in King Hamlet's name. Go you now to Norway's king and in his ear make this ring. Hear my words, tell him plain that we are not so lost in pain that if his nephew does proceed, Denmark's strength shall make him bleed. You can bet his ears will ring. I'll take this message to their king. Laertes, what is your suit? Come now, boy, what are you, mute? Back to France I'd like to go, if my king would make it so. These darkened times had call me here, and with my schooling interfere. With your father, I will see. Polonius, do you agree? He has my reluctance to leave, but even so, I still shall grieve. With great effort, he has won my consent to see it done. Hamlet, cousin, son, your sorrow. You act as if there's no tomorrow. My dear uncle, I am fine. I know someday the sun will shine. Eat some eggs and you'll be happy. Eat them now and make it snappy. These eggs are rather unexpected. Is this why you seem dejected? I beg of you, please try to stay. If you wish, I will obey. That is wise for you to say. May your despair soon fly away. Here in Denmark I'll remain until my heart has lost this pain. To take good care of my son Hamlet, I call the servant Sammy Hamlet. son of yours could cause us shame, a scandal upon our good name. Don't you want green eggs for Prince Hamlet? I do not, oh, Sam I Hamlet. Oh, young prince, why do you brood? Won't you try some of this food? My father deep beneath the ground makes green eggs seem too profound. Just two months my father's dead, and now she's in my uncle's bed. Coincidence? I tell you this, it troubles me to see them kiss. Green eggs would only make things worse. 
my sorrow in this wretched verse. Leave me now, O Semi Hamlet. As you wish, my good Prince Hamlet. Hail Horatio and Marcellus. Good Francisco, please do tell us. Friends, what brings you to this place? The king's funeral is the case. Well, like the wedding, could it be? That's what you are here to see. Why do my thoughts deceive? I see my father, I believe. Where, my lord? Yes, where is he? My mind's eye is where he be. Oh, dear friends, there are times when I long to see him once again. But I know he's gone forever. Pardon, sir, may I endeavor? I think I saw him yesternight. He flickered as if made of light. My two companions can concur. Two other times this did occur. If this is true and you are right, I will stand with you tonight. If I'm of his blood, I'll take the risk and stem the flood of evil that has left him walking. For those of us who live are talking. For there's one thing I can tell. In Elsinore, all is not well. Will you eat them in a box? Will you eat them with a fox? I will not eat them in a box. I will not eat them with a fox. I do not like them as a rule. Leave me now, you silly fool. I'm off to France. Oh, you've got to do that. Try again. You really are a bizarre child. Uh -huh. The time that drives me wild. Now, despite all hammer and surgeon, you would best remain a virgin. I hear the lesson that you teach. You should practice what you preach. Hamlet is the one to suit. Where you see, he's so cute. Before you leave, your father begs. Hear my free advice on eggs. Do not borrow, nor do lend, unless it's for green eggs you spend. It is known both far and wide, their benefits when they are fried. You can eat them with a mouse, you can eat them in a house, you can eat them on a plate, you can eat them by the gate. You can eat them in a spire, and <laughs> you can eat them when on fire. healthy way to start the day, even when the skies are gray. And with their healthy glow of green dough make you strong with their protein. Some say eat them not at all because of the cholesterol. But listen not to what they speak, tis safe to eat them thrice a week. And when you are in gay Paris, you can eat with a Paris. <laughs> you can eat them by the door. You can always ask for more. If Norwegians are attacking, break them open just by cracking. Eggs can come in many styles, in many shapes, from many miles. Eat only green eggs, never blue. To thine own self you must be true. Now to France I must depart, but I will keep you in my heart. And now about this prince, my dear, it is from him you should stay clear. Although his lands may be extensive, his intentions make me pensive. Oh, but the hamster's really nice to my life, he adds some spice. If a man is good and smart, he will try to win your heart. Hamlet is a different breed. Half an hour is all he'll need. 
he wants you for a trophy. Stay away from him, young Ophi. Would you eat them with some jam? Would you eat them with some spam? My good friend, what have you seen? Nothing but these eggs of green. All those people making merry would be wiser to be wary. Look, my lord! Here comes the ghost! I will be a pleasant host. I challenge you to speak to me. I have questions to ask thee. I beg you, sire, do not go! What you'll do, we do not know! Let me go is what you'll do, or I shall make a ghost of you! Spirit, wait! I pray thou speak! Come close, my son. My voice is weak. Who are you, you wretched thing? I am your father, the dead king! Well, pardon me. May I inquire how you came to straits so dire? How came I to your ghost? He poisoned piece of my fresh toast. It pays none too green when the man that stole my queen. Villainous axe killed me that day. It was murder most foul, I must say. I ask of you to do your best to rid the throne of this incest. Do not act against your mother. Take revenge against the other. Remember me, my own. I swear to you, it will be done. What happened with the ghost, my lord? It doth appear he struck a chord. Aye, he was an errant knave who sent my father to the grave. Of what you saw, you must beware. Speak not of it. Will you swear? For what reason should we dare? I know not why I should swear. swear. These wondrous things give me a scare. What evil lurks within them? Swear! There's more to heaven and to earth than your philosophy can be worth. Now, I ask you one more time. Swear to me. Complete the rhyme. Disjointed time, or oh cursed spite, that I was born to set this right. Rinaldo, tis past many a day since Laertes went on his way. I find it odd that I have not heard from my dear son, not a word. 
spy on him, see if he studies, or just suntans with his buddies. I fear he spends less time in town than on the beach, just getting brown. I will spy on that young man and find from where he gets his tan. You must mark what I have said, and watch the way that you do tread. I could do it well and steady. As for you, enough already. You will not eat them on a plate. You will not eat them near the gate. Father, I'm so sad, for I think that Hamlet's mad. His disposition was so bitter when he came round it made me titter. He came to me with shirt undone and shook me as I tried to run. Ophelia, dear, can't you see? His troubles are a mystery. The king would like him to feel better. Darling, <laughs> can I see that letter? <laughs> Rosencrantz and Guildenstern, there is something I must learn. Something burns in Hamlet's mind, and what it is I must find. Now you see, dear Rosencrantz, we feel that you might have a chance. We will use you as a tool, since you knew him back at school. Guildenstern, all we ask is completion of this task. Guildenstern and I shall find him. Try to put it all behind him. I hope they can find the route, or all our efforts may be moot. Good Polonius, what is new? Plenty, sire. But when you're through. We are so glad that you are back. Should we brace for their attack? No more need to guard the doorway. No longer fear the Prince of Norway. Young Fortinbras switching roles and heading off to fight the Poles. Now he waits for your condition to pass through Denmark on his mission. I'll give it thought and let you know. Come back tonight. Now off you go. Now, Polonius. Yes, my king. What news of Hamlet do you bring? From this letter Hamlet wrote, I see that love has got his goat. Oh, 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 baby. Please say yes, don't tell me maybe. His writing, it has such a prick. It proves that love has made him sick. We'll need some more substantial proof of why the prince is so aloof. Ophelia makes his passion burn. We'll set a trap on his return. Behind a shrubbery we shall wait and use my daughter as the bait. Will you eat them with a goat? Will you eat them in a moat? Well, young prince, you seem quite floored. Do you remember me, my lord? I used to wonder, but no longer. You are Skippy, the fishmonger. No, my lord, you are mistaken. An honest man. You must be taken. Seems you've rushed too much in dressing. Ah, conception truly is a blessing. He won't eat them. Is he crazy? Or could it be that he is lazy? His mind has clearly gone amiss. Maybe he loves to blame for this. You may be right. That I perceive. And now, my lord, I take my leave. I freely grant that without dread. Or you could take my life instead. Rosencrantz, Guildenstern, by what chance do you return? Tell me, where have you been at? The top of Lady Fortune's hat? No, I can't say that is true. So where then? Underneath her shoe? It's not as bad as that, I mean. Maybe somewhere in between. Well, if you hang about her waist, I fear that she will not stay chaste. Now that you're here, tell me a tale. Why'd she send you to this jail? Just a visit to our old friend. I do think the truth, you Ben. Actually, it was the Queen. And what is it you've come to glean? To find the root of my despair and why it seems I'm unaware? What a piece of work is man. Must I endure? I doubt I can. I fear your spirits are quite low. And you will not enjoy the show. We met some players on our way. We asked them here to stage a play. Well, that really is good news. Come and join me if you choose.
My lord, the players have arrived. To do a show they have contrived? Welcome to this royal hall. These fresh eggs are for you all. They're incredible, can't you see? Hold that thought. Pardon me. It is odd, I must say. It is such a boring thing to lay. If you could recite for me a strong and solid work of you, could you please be more precise? Or at least be more concise? Know you the speech from Henry V? I, in my soul, it is alive. Today is the feast of Crispian. He that outlives this day and comes safe home will stand tiptoe when this day is named and rouse himself at the name of Crispian. He that lives today and sees old age will yearly, on the vigil, feast his neighbors and say, Tomorrow is Saint Crispian. Then he will strip his sleeve, show his scars, and say, these wounds I had on Crispin's day. Old men forget, yet all shall be forgotten. But he'll remember with advantages what feats he did that day. Then shall our names, familiar in their mouths as household words, Harry the King, Bedford and Exeter, Warwick and Talbot, Salisbury and Gloucester, shall be flowing in their cups, freshly remembering. This story a good man shall tell his son, and Crispin Crispian shall ne'er go by from this day to the ending of the world. But we few, we happy few, we band of brothers, but he that sheds his blood with me today shall be my brother, be he ne'er so vile. This day shall gentle his condition, and gentlemen in England now abed shall think themselves accursed they were not here and hold their manhoods cheap, whilst any speaks that fought with us here on St. Crispin's Day. An excellent reading, I must say. Polonius, leave them away. I'll tell you the play I like most. Know you the tale, Gonzago's French Toast. Is it okay if I rearrange it? Just add a few lines, barely change it. Aye, my lord, tis easily done. And I'll see you later. This will be fun. Would you, could you, with a fork? Would you, could you, with a spork? He gave such a moving speech, to my soul I do beseech. From fiction such resolve to spring, so why can't I feel such a thing? But perhaps tonight will show just how my next step should go. On stage a murder will be shown, a murder like my father's own. The play, the play, that's the thing? To snare the conscience of the king. The prince was really quite elusive. What we found was inconclusive. I am concerned about that boy. The players seem to bring him joy. Oh, did they arrive today? Yes, tonight there will be a play. With respect, the prince did send. T'would lift his heart if you'd attend. Lifting hearts. I'll do my share. Go and tell him we'll be there.
Now, my lord, it is the time. Now, what's your plan? Complete the rhyme. My king, in answer to your query, this plan now will prove my theory. Ophelia, darling, stand right here, and we'll be hiding very near. I'll find my son and send him hither before again he starts to belither. Will I eat these small green eggs? That is the question your servant begs. I will not eat them with a fox. I will not eat them in a box. I will not eat with slings and arrows. I will not eat with kings or pharaohs. But these eggs are not contagious. I find this fortune quite outrageous. But when you sleep, perchance to dream, they're not as bad as they may seem. I would not, could not in a house. I would not, could not with a mouse. We will not eat them in this castle, so Sam I am, let's stop your hassle. We will not eat them with a cow. There's Ophelia, soft you now. My lord, the token of your love. That's not from me, you silly dove. My lord, why do you treat me so? To a nunnery you must go. If you marry, choose the fool. One that's slow and tends to drool. Since wise men know all too well, a woman's touch makes their life hell. Heaven's powers, please restore him as I stand now here before him. Chase his eyes and pure as snow. Your disgrace will always show. That's the only place for thee. Off now to a nunnery. Our blessed lady of the night, that nunnery will serve you right. Spend your days in deep confession. Learn the tricks of that profession. Dispel the longings of your heart, the bitterness of being tart. Off at once, don't spare a muscle. To a nunnery you must hustle. Agreed he is a risk, Polonius, but your reasoning is Bolognius. Off to England he'll be sent, where they'll know what is meant. Oh, pardon, sir, I must protest. And grant me, please, this one request. To spy, I'd like another chance to prove his problems in his pants. To the queen he may confess that love has caused all his distress. After the play, my saucy fellow, then you may see if he were bellow. And if I fail, I agree, he should be sent across the sea. That is how I want the show. Aye, my lord, we'll make it so. Now I trust you have it right. We'll see if we get a bite. So off you go to eat your aim, and I wish you break a leg. The king and queen sent me to say they're ready now to see the play. Well, you seem quite the merry band. Why don't you go and lend a hand? I've come, my lord, as you requested. It's time the spirit's words were tested. You, my friend, I do confide. The play I've somewhat modified. Sometime after curtain rise, I hope to expose the lies. A murder like that of my father. Watch to see this my father. I dare not try to watch his face. I will do so in your place. The prince arrives. The show is near. Hamlet, there's a place right here. Please don't think that I don't care, but I prefer it over there. Do you want to take a nap? No, I just like it in your lap. What do you think of country and the sword? I think of nothing, shh, my lord. Would you like them with some fries? Not when my head is in her thighs. The queen's as merry as spring flowers with father dead just these two hours. But my lord, did you not know his tragic death was months ago?
saw that illustrate? This player will elucidate. A long time ago, in a land far away, fell the tragedy of which we play. My, that was rather brief. As woman's love is my belief. My dear, you shine more brightly than the star. So many journeys have come. May us come lower and not the star which grows me or so to the faith. Grow love is great for little scouts, our dear. Faith, I must leave my love and shortly do. And you shall live behind in this fair world. Your husband. That's the way they make their money. Are you enjoying as you drink? She does protest too much, I think. You see the way she shows distress. Me thinks she just has PMS. What do you call this piece of crap? The name of it is the mouse trap. Here's Lucianus to do his thing. He's the nephew of the king. At least we know the play won't bore us, not with Hamlet as our chorus. On with the show and keep it steady. Get on with it and kill him already. Now, fixed your rank of midnight weeds collected by natural magic and dire potency. Unwholesome life you serve immediately. That's Gonzago losing his life. Now watch the murderer get his wife. Something here is just not right. I am leaving. Give me light. With this glass I do toast, for now I can believe the ghost. My lord, the king is very mad. He's crazy too? That is too bad. The queen now wants to speak with thee. She's in the courtyard by the tree. He'll see his mother on his own. Come now, let's leave him alone. My tongue will be sharp as a knife, though my hands shan't take her life. Will you eat them now, Prince Hamlet? I do not like them, semi Hamlet. Go to England on a boat. Take the prince and this note. I used to 
you trying to convince? I'll spy again upon the prince. This mystery here will soon be solved, with proper people now involved. Things he would share with no other. But surely he would tell his mother. Forgive me, Lord, I must retract. I do regret my bloody act. A guilt far stronger than another follows murder of a brother. Not slay him in a prayer, he'll go to heaven, not down there. He must be caught in act of sin, that is when I'll do him in. I hope the time comes soon, my brother. Now I'm off to see my mother. My words rise up, but my thoughts stay low. Words that never to heaven go. Your son has been unbearable. His acts are incomparable. The time has come to set this right. You must do this here tonight. Mother dear, what brings this bother? You have offended your good father! Tis you, my mother, who offend him in that place your king did send him! Hamlet, there's no need to shout! Excuse me while I whip this out! What evil course do you now lead with such a rash and bloody deed? Almost as bad, my good mother, as kill a king and marry his brother. You turn my eyes into my soul, and what I see is black as coal. <sighs> Thou wretched, rash, intruding boar! I thought the king had hit the floor. Wringing hands? Do not start, for I wish to wring your heart. Have you arrived now just to chide? Can't you see that I have tried? Alas, I fear that he is mad. Tis not her that has been bad. Remember all that I have said. Tis the king who should be dead. Look you now how pale his glare. What do you think you see up there? My son, you split my heart in two. Then keep the better part with you. But don't go to my uncle's bed. Tell him that it's in your head, that you believe your son is mad. And this makes you very sad. That I'll try my best to do. But now what will become of you? Off to England I am sent. With two friends I am lent. The king's plan is yet unknown, but I myself have my own. So fare thee well, my good queen. Take the body from this scene.
Where is that little prince so vile? Would you excuse us for a while? Hamlet has been quite felonious, for you see, he's killed Polonius. Now I feel so acrimonious, for my judgment has been quite erroneous. If I'd acted with more speed, we could have dodged this horrid deed. Rosencrantz, Guildenstern! Things have taken quite a turn. Hamlet has my counsel slain. Bring him to me to explain. And in this task you mustn't falter. Take the body to the altar. We must find someone else to blame. Make this scandal miss our name. Where'd you hide th that man you killed? Don't cry over milk I've spilled. My lord, where did you hide the body? Then you'd think that I was naughty. We must escort you to the king. Then take me onward to the thing. The thing, my lord? What do you mean? What will come is quite a scene. Corpse, young prince, where's it at? Why, never growing none too fat. Tell me now, tell me true. I know not where, not a clue. But to supper he has beaten. He eats not, but is eaten. Well, in a month if he's forgotten, the courtyard will smell truly rotten. I must be sure, remove all doubt. You two men, go check it out. You must leave Denmark for a while. I'm sending you to the British Isle. Oh, that's as good as any other. I bid to you farewell, dear mother. I'm your dear father. What's this game? Mother, father, it's all the same. Make sure he doesn't leave your sight. I want him on that boat tonight. Kill him here would be unwise, expose my guilt to Danish eyes. But when he reaches England's shore, he shall breathe nevermore. On this quest, in our glory you shall see, you will be all you can be. Oh, Prince Hamlet, many thanks for a clear passage for my ranks. March on with me, my brave men, conquer every Polish hen. Hey soldier, who the hell is he? 
transporting broth from across the sea. Where's he going with such fire? Chicken coops are his desire. Poland's poultry preserves are peerless. Sporting broth's forces are fucking fearless. See how he inspires his troops just to conquer chicken coops? Had I resolved like he has mustered, I would not now be so flustered. When I return to Elsinore, blood will spill upon the floor. I refuse to speak to her! But my queen, you must concur. In her present mad condition, she arouses such suspicion. Horatio, you're right, I fear. Francisco, go and fetch her here. Full of jealousy is guilt. It spills in fear of being spilt. O oh, royal lady, the night is split in two. For blossoms fall upon the snow from yon cherry tree. My father lies there in between. The stones are cold. For shadows streak upon the turf and dine upon my feelings. Quintessence. Gertrude, what the hell was that? I fear she knows not where she's at. Watch her close throughout the night. Keep her out of public sight. I must tell you what I've learned. That Laertes has returned. Rumors of his father's fate have brought him home. Quite irate. <laughs> My lord and queen, I hate to hassle, but Laertes has stormed the castle. That is what we now desire. Laertes should be our side. Please calm down and wait outside while I find out if rumors lie. That is what we now desire. I demand to see my father, man. I pray thee calm. Please stay thy hand. Let him pass. There is no danger. This fine man is not a stranger. It breaks our hearts, me and my wife. Your father no more breathes with life. I pity him who's done this deed. My wrath will find him and his seed. His family tree I make this pledge. I'll trim it down till it's a hedge. I'll cut each branch, I'll pluck each leaf. His blood alone will soothe my grief. The oppressive nature of rhyme sequence is indicative of the fallow logocentric grasp on our culture. Therefore, the quandary of a male-dominated society is that the nurturing feelings are cast aside in preference to destructive manifestations of malevolent misgivings toward the female progenitors. For what you need, and furthermore, revenge is best. Female patterns of circular and we shall join you in that quest. Do you think I look bad? Here he is, the man you see. To Horatio we will speak. That is I. How do you do? We have a note to give to you. Horatio, good day to thee. I'll soon return as you shall see. Shortly after we set sail, we had pirates on our tail. I swung aboard their ship to fight so the others could take flight. I promised if they set me free, great things from our treasury. Give their letters to the king, fill their pockets till they ring. I'll return to Elsinore when you meet me by the shore. When you come and meet me there, many secrets I will share. The time has come for me to end. Sincerely, Hamlet. You're a good friend. Take these letters that they hold and hurry back with all their gold. We'll spend the night in Elsinore. At daybreak, we'll head for the shore.
your father died by Hamlet's hand. I've sent him to a far-off land. It was a risk, as you can see. And he also threatened me. No justice until blood's been spilled. Why didn't you just have him killed? The queen, his mother, loved her son. That is reason number one. And the public's lost respect. It's not politically correct. But fear you not, I must insert. He will get his just dessert. Servant boy, what brings you hence? Letters that may make you tense. What do you mean? Who are they from? From the prince these letters come. Two sailors gave them unto me. They captured him upon the sea. High and mighty, by your leave, for this note does not deceive. Let me cut now to the chase. Tomorrow you will see a face of the son who does return, quite unarmed, as you shall learn. My God, what does this mean? Is it true? What have you seen? Nothing have I seen, my lord. May I go fetch their just reward? So, my nephew will return. You may yet get what you yearn. Envy of your skills in fighting makes a duel with you inviting. I cannot wait to prove my worth, and I will do so with great mirth. I will arrange a fencing bout, though I think it more a rout. A mace, a trident, or a plank. A dulcimer that you might like. Baguette, perhaps, if you choose. Many weapons may you use. A baguette is just the thing to entice him to this ring. I will let him win the fight, and then we will set things right. With the help of midnight weed, justice shall be served indeed. To guarantee he'll win the match, with an egg our plan will hatch. A poison egg I'll let him eat to celebrate in your defeat. He will eat it, this I know. The servants say he loves them so. <laughs> Larities, I'm filled with dread, for I must tell you that she's dead. Of what lady do you speak? Ophelia fell into the creek. Not a creek, more like a pond. One in which she was quite fond. She walked along, filled with woe. Not too fast, but not too slow. In her hand was one lone flower. From the garden by the tower. When she turned with all her might, her tiny feet just took to flight. Why she fell, I cannot think, but to the bottom she did sink. You may ask, how did she drown? I believe it was the gown. Curse you, fate Ophelia, too! Where's my father and now you? My dear friend, my stomach begs that now you stop and get some eggs. I much prefer to dig my graves without assistance of such knaves. From the earth I do expound another skull that I have found. Good sir, whose grave do you now dig? It is my grave, you stupid pig! He doth give a strange reply. Yet it is where he doth lie. You lie out, but tis not thine. I lie not in, yet it is mine. What man do you dig it for? For not a man. I'll say no more. Is it for a woman, then? Not that either. Guess again. I think your wit is somewhat stronger. Once a woman, 
Now no longer. She is dead, God rest her soul. Now what is that fool gone with my bowl? How long was he beneath the ground? Three and twenty years, around. This is Yorick, I can tell. You must have really known him well. He was a man so full of jest. And of them all, I loved him best. Where are all your antics now? Death makes us all the same somehow. Send this loved one on her way. Struck down in the prime of youth. Cut too short and that's the truth! Agony upon his head who drove you to this earthly bed! Could this be Ophelia's grave? Help me now, I must be brave. Who here has more grief than me? What the devil you should be! Fight until the end of time! But my son, what is his crime? Loved her more than all the others. More than 40,000 brothers. You're as crazy as a loon. This would all be settled soon. sealed their fiendish plot was now revealed. It stood there right before my eyes, orders sent for my demise. That must have been a shock for you. Tell me, Lord, what did you do? Conspiracy I did expect, but those two goons did not detect. Such wickedness should not surprise compared to other acts in size. Kill a brother, steal a throne. These are acts he's made his own. If a moment I may snatch, you've been challenged to a match. A friendly duel with Laertes. I'm sure you'll beat him with great ease. Would oh, you have faith I surely lack? Would you care to have a snack? Are you really that concerned? No, he spends time getting burned. Skill and fitness fade away lying in the sun all day. Sorry that I caused you pain, but I was really quite insane. Apologies I won't forget, but my honor I'll protect. Bring the baggots here, I say. Now 
now let the games get underway. Player tease, you silly oaf, you have missed me with your loaf. If I could kill with only bread, then Hamlet boy would you be dead. This point is for me to get as I strike with my baguette. My king, for lack of an incision, you must make the point decision. Hamlet, the first point is yours. Your strength is finest on our shores. But to keep your strength on high, I offer you an egg to try. Thank you, sire, for your favor. Tis a gift I'll want to savor. Will you eat them with your bread? Or will you wait until you're dead? Second point, I take my toll. You are beaten by my roll. See my son? He wins again. He's been fencing since age 10. To eat, he looks depleted. Otherwise, he'll be defeated. That's not true. Look at his force. He is stronger than a horse. Carry on, my wayward son. I'll eat these eggs before you're done. My good prince before you swoon, try to beat me with the spoon. So, you think spoons are your strength? Tell me, are these the same length? This is not a spoon, you wretched dork. You have stabbed me with a spork! <laughs> Mother dear, are you all right? She's only fainted from the sight. My husband speaks, but it's a lie. Twas poison eggs. And now I die. Oh, what a tragic sight to see. I've set the trap. Now it's caught me. Lock the doors and pull the drape. Ensure the villain can't escape. This news I give, I do so dread That both of us shall soon be dead That my spoon I did anoint And make a spork with poison point It was the king, it was not I Whose plan by which we both now die you Killed my father, and me too Eat these eggs or be run through I vindicate you of all blame. I beg of you to do the same. Horatio, you are my friend. A legacy you must now mend. You shall live and tell the story. <laughs> Save our name in all its glory. Fulton 
Brother, the Prince of Norway has arrived. He's in the doorway. I grant him Denmark as his own. My first and last act from the throne. Now eat these eggs if you choose, for now there's nothing left to lose. Had I but known these were this good, I'd eat more, I surely would. Now go and clear the good name Hamlet. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you, Sam, I am. to the front. 